The headline uh, sounds, you know, sounds bad, but you had an outflow of less than the street was anticipating, and we knew that you were going to lose this big um, Lloyd's Banking Group account to uh, Schroeder's. So it's not really shocking, and it's, of course, also not a horse race, I'm sure. But h how, how do you react still to falling behind a place to second? Uh, I, 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 I think the important thing is this is about... Uh, uh, you know, the business is not about bulk, it's about, uh, about scale. And I think when you look behind those coronavirus-affected uh, uh, numbers, that actually I think there is underlying momentum in the business. We've got improving investment performance. Uh, thanks to the magnificent efforts of our people, we were operationally very resilient. There is clear evidence in the first half of a uh, common culture being uh, being forged. And then you you add to that, Matt, the strength of our uh, our balance sheet and the quality of our balance sheet. And I think what you can see is very very strong foundations being laid three years after the merger. For, uh, for future growth. And it's that uh, future growth that becomes uh, really very, uh, very important. And I think a key sign of those strong foundations is the fact that we are now ranked in 51, 51 strategies uh, by institutional investment consultants compared with uh, uh, 43 at the uh, time of the merger. So I think those foundations will leave us well placed to, you know, uh, meet the, the challenges the industry faces. Keith, good morning from London. So as we have these lockdown measures easing for the rest of the year, what are you seeing in terms of the recovery? Um, yeah, that it, uh, I, I agree with uh, what I've just heard uh, Governor Bailey talking, that it's uh, unfortunately uh, very, uh, very complex. And, um, you know, I, I think, you know, if, for instance, we were to see uh, a, a vaccine and we could declare victory over COVID, I think you'd see a very strong V-shaped recovery and a very strong recovery in, uh, in markets. But given that history suggests that, uh, you know, vi these uh, vaccines are about 40% effective, if we don't get that, I think, you know, we've got a corporate sector in parts that's got to de-lever. We need to re-equitise. You look at all of the corporate announcements. There's a structural rise in unemployment going to be just around the corner once uh, the schemes end. And that looks to me to suggest that the pace of recovery in the medium term is going to be relatively slow and therefore that, 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 that markets look pretty fully priced. I think it's going to be uh, X a vaccine, a pretty tough economic uh, economic environment and um, I think people should um, look and extend and try and think about uh, you know the, the medium term because you know second half and any six month period at the moment is full of complexity and therefore becomes a bit of a lottery when you're when you're trying to forecast it.